Russian Z-War correspondent Maxim Kalashnikov revealed the date by which Russian troops were ordered to liberate the Kursk region. The deadlines apparently were shifted. The propagandist shared the secret information on September the 20th on his Telegram channel. He recorded a video message from the Kursk region. According to Kalashnikov, the Russian armed forces have less than a month left to push Ukrainian forces back across the border. Unfortunately, they didn't take us with them to the front line where the escalation began. It is clear that the task was set to push the Ukrainian armed forces out of the Kursk region by October the 15th said the Z-War correspondent. There are serious doubts that the Russian army will be able to carry out its plans. An attempt to launch a counter-offensive near Glushkovo petered out in a few days. The Russian armed forces managed to capture the village of Snagost. And at the same time, the Russians received a new breakthrough from the Ukrainian armed forces with a blow to the rear. It was previously reported that the Russian army had been tasked with liberating the Kursk region by October the 1st. The Kremlin has probably already realized that such a global task is impossible to accomplish within such a time frame. The Russian armed forces will not be able to drive Ukrainian troops out of the Kursk region until the end of the war. More than 100 settlements of the Russian Federation will be under the control of the Ukrainian armed forces for a long time. This is the conclusion reached by another Z-War correspondent, Romanov, after he visited the Kursk region. According to him, the Ukrainian armed forces continue to use maneuvering tactics during their offensive in the Kursk region, which allows them to reliably hold territory without major losses, and the Russian army can do nothing about it. He believes that during the month of the offensive, the front line in this area has already formed and there is no need to expect any significant changes. We will have these swings until the end of the war. The LBS, the current positions occupied by the enemy, they will not change much. There may be some situational swings back and forth, 5 to 10 kilometers. The same residents will move back and forth. But the situation will be like this, while the enemy will pump forces into the area. And he will, because it is more convenient for the enemy to fight on our territory than on his own in the Sumi region. He will dig in here well. Romanov said he made it clear that one should not believe the statements of the chief of the general staff of the Russian Federation, Valery Gerasimov, that the enemy has been driven out of Kursk region. This will not happen soon. <laughs> Residents of the village of Korenevo in the Kursk region complained to Putin as well as the heads of the Russian Defense Ministry, the Prosecutor General, the head of the Investigative Committee and the Chief Military Prosecutor about the facts of mass looting committed by Russian military personnel during the so-called counter-terrorist operation after the entry of Ukrainian Armed Forces units into the region. A corresponding collective appeal from Koronevo residents appeared on social networks. People write that there was not a single day of Ukrainian army presence in Koronevo, but after the arrival of Russian military in the village, dozens of residential buildings, shops, gas stations and pharmacies were looted. They say there are numerous accounts of men in Russian military uniforms breaking down doors of evacuated homes, taking away belongings and valuables and shooting dogs to stop them from interfering with the looting. Russian soldiers also steal cars and agricultural equipment that their owners did not manage to take away. It is no secret that stolen property is taken away through fields and open roads, the statement says. There is no official response from the Russian authorities to the cry from the heart of the indignant Kursk residents who believe in the fair Putin. Recall while Ukrainians have been fighting in the Kursk region to push the war onto enemy territory in one of the villages outside their control where there is a Wild Berries online shop warehouse, Russians are engaging in regularly. A recording surfaced online showing three Russian soldiers entering the warehouse and freely opening the deposited parcels. According to Russian telegram channels, three Russian soldiers entered the warehouse and began opening and taking parcels that had been sent to local residents. Another recording is circulating online showing Russian soldiers, likely from Akhmat, looting a mobile phone shop in Grushkovo in the Kursk region. The shared recordings are being commented on by internet users. Very telling, notes one and adds, the activity of Kadyrov's men in the Kursk region, looting shops. Will they receive a Tesla Cybertruck?